well, not too far back, I ordered two of these uh, desktop power switch extension cables, which is a button that you press, pop, and it turns on your PC, especially that I was dual PC streaming. I didn't want to keep going through the hassle of actually reaching over. Look, and I'll show you. Sorry about any uh, thing you may not like here on the actual video. And I'll put links to what's in this PC built. This is my streaming PC. This is, of course, the glorious minus O. And I'll put links in the description to my streaming and my main rig in case you guys want to get anything from there. But the main thing are these power buttons. Let's go. So, we're going to get this PC off of here. <clears throat> Sorry. Unscrew this up. This is, uh, this case is made by Thermal uh, Take. And it's a pretty cool case. It actually uh, be going out of stock. They usually run out of it pretty quick because everybody buys it up once they restock it and uh they almost hardly never ha have it for some apparent reason let's get these fungal pops down here right you know <laughs> your pc is not done without the fungal pop so that's the inside of the pc we might have to leave this light in here because actually we seem to be having a little problem <laughs> when you can't really see in there and i'm trying to get you to see it so if I put you up closer, it's because I want you to understand what's actually going on within the PC and what you're about to see once I start unplugging these right here. That's the power, the reset. See that one says power? Hold on. If I can get you guys to uh, see it a little bit. Let me see. Can you see it there? Now the light is <laughs> now the light is working too bright, right? <laughs> so let's see. It definitely says power though. All right, so it definitely says power. So we're gonna get to this uh, power situation and put the other ones right where these where these go and that's going to be the problem you see like most of the time people have these things turned upside down or what have you or on his back and i'm actually using it like to stream so that's not what we're doing so not for nothing this one is kind of like i said it's not something that i really like it looks blocky big I made a previous video on it. I'm going to see if I find it and I show you. I did it with a different camera. But now I'm going to show you the other one. Look at how this one looks. It has the only good thing about it, it comes with a magnet. So you could put this in the back and the magnet holds it. But I don't know how good it is. The cabling is not really all that. It's super thick and like it's hard and stiff. It's not bad, but I don't know. It just maybe it's. I don't know, it feels weird. Maybe this one is the cheap one. I got it confused, but I think I know good stuff and tech by now. This one just feels awesome. And the keycaps are like so much official. It's like an actual keycap and it's a MX switch and it's clicky. The only thing I can't click it right now because it's going to turn off the PC. <laughs> so I'm not trying to do that, but it's like these keycaps right here. I promise you. And this one, 
The clicky is even like kind of weird. I'm putting it closer to the mic. I was clicking it with my thumb. So it's pretty cool though, but it just looks way different. Look at it, it's like a square, flat little thing. I think they just try to duplicate that. Then the, the bottom of it is just like a block. Can you see it? It's just like a block. Like what the? But I bought it and I'm gonna put it to use. And this one all the way around is just beautiful. Well done. Well, well executed. Now, any little touch turns off the PC. So I went through that before. So I'm not trying to touch it. Let's put this bad boy together <laughs> before I mess things up. So now the cabling on this one, I was able to play with it and put it through the case and all that because uh, this case stays open. It goes with some screws on each corner and the glass panel actually sticks out and there's a crack in between them for air ventilation and the wires are able just to go through right there. It's not like the other one that I put in my actual main PC and the, the panel, the door panel, the, the, the glass does not close all the way. So I'm gonna have to take that one apart soon in these days and find a way to get it out through the back and kind of sort of fix the cabling a little more because I just put it on real quick before. And at that present time, I just didn't care if the panel was open a little bit because it was summertime. So I actually wanted it to get more ventilation, but it actually makes your PC get kind of a little more dusty quicker. And I just took them both apart and cleaned them. So anyway, bottom line is, uh, there's more space to play with it. So yeah, let's get to it. Let's plug this bad boy up and I'm gonna show you where all of these go with the power and the uh, uh, power LED, uh, power uh, reset, all types of things. Let's get to it. Tech for Rex, subscribe for more content like this and giveaways on the channel. I'm gonna bring you up close and personal so you can see what's going on. I can show you now real quick that they come like that, like MX switches, just cause uh, I have this one off. <laughs> so they come like the keyboards with the clicky, this is MX blue. <laughs> And that's the keycap. You could remove it and you could replace it with another keycap. That's like basically what I planned on doing. For example, I just removed the keycap from my keyboard. So this is a red PBT keycap, the number one. And you could just put it right there. And it's on there now. So it's not bad, this one. Once you replace it with your own keycap it looks more official because this one definitely beat it this is the one on the other pc but once this is on here it's just like the bottom piece of it it looks it's just like a block it looks like they made it with them 3d printer things and this one just feels so rubbery soft and it's curved right it has like a roundish corn you know like it don't even have corners it's nice and round this is like a block with something in there i don't know but once it's like this it looks pretty decent once you change this whatever this <laughs> was once you change that it's cool is is it looks just like the other one kind of sort of but if you want to get the one that I just showed you before that is this one. Lit Rock, because it's lit. And this one that I'm installing in here is by this brand. And I don't think you should get it. I think Lit Rock is better. But you have an option, and the links will be in the description. I can't even get the, the LED on this one to turn on. And maybe it's based on 
my motherboard being the way it is. Let me put this back on my. So as you guys can see right there, after I plugged it all in, this LED lights up like right there. I don't know. It's not lighting up like a lot. Like the actual other one, but check that out. And it's already a downfall for that uh, button. And I'm just showing you, like, I'm not going to lie. People is going to tell you the best of things. Yo, you should get this. This one is not it, bro. The other one is the correct one. Do not get robbed. Now, your experience, is it going to be bad? No, it's not. This is the problem with this plugin. And... I'm going to unplug it, uh, shut it down right now, and I'm going to take you through the process of, I connected it, they give you a splitter, and I'm guessing that the splitter is so you won't have, uh, like right now, it's better, that's what I meant. While connected to the splitter, you really can't see nothing. They give you this black splitter, and I guess it's so you won't see the color, uh, of red and green and all that, I guess the splitter is for. So the cables will be all black. But I, I left these. This is my streaming PC. I usually cover them with uh, black electrical tape whenever these mustard colored cables are still around on a certain belt, which is a little piece. So I'll cover that one and I'll cover this one. I just haven't got to it on this streaming PC. But my main PC is all black in there. And the majority, if it's not black, red, or yellow, like a nice matching yellow with everything, I don't want it. So, anyway, I'm about to show you in a second how I just plug it on its own without the cables that they gave me, with without the splitter. So, I'm going to plug it with their red, green, and white cable. Actually, that's what it's plugged in right now with. So what I mean is this, that just plugged directly with the cable that it comes with, without the splitter, it actually shows more LED on this thing. And it's very minute compared to the other, uh, uh, look, it's going to be like that. This is going to be on top of it. I don't want to click it all the way. And it's going to be like that. So you still get to see a little color, but it's nothing like this one is full. And I'm going to open it. As far as like pulling out the cap, the top. This one, once you put the top on it, it has like a big color. And I, I don't know, I was going to shut off the PC if I put it back. But anyway, this LED light keeps changing and it gives it a lot of color that looks like it's spreading. It even goes to the top. It has like a power button symbol. You get it? This one has none of that. So again... <laughs> The bang for your buck will be the lit rock. But is this one bad? No, it's not. And I just want to show you all the pros and cons to it and make a good video for you guys that you'll be able to make your decision. I'm just going to plug it in with the cable that they gave me, the colored cable. And then I'll add, uh, even though I don't really need that LED light, I plan on putting it under the desk. So I really don't even need to plug in LED with it. Like, <laughs> what, are those, what is that LED doing? Like, just pulling more power? Because it's not going to be nowhere noticeable soon. Anyway. Let's shut that down. And let me plug it up and call it a wrap. So that is the amount of light it throws when it's connected with their black cable you get it so there's no color so it's connected with their splitter and it's that bright and it's just like in one corner i guess they try to duplicate this one they try to duplicate it so much and it didn't work out because this has like a bulb of led on the top you see they try to duplicate it so hard uh i'm figuring and it, and it didn't and it didn't work out, buddy. Like too well for you. Like this is like a savagely kind of made. And I guess it's the box. But then again, the pros to it, the pros to this one, 
that I keep knocking is the magnet. If you're looking for something, a magnet pop, and you're not worried about the light, then this has a hell of a strong magnet, bro, to put anywhere. Super strong. And then it comes with two of these little magnet situations that you stick them, pop, and then this thing catches on it. You get it? And it's like magic. So you put that. This is going to be stuck somewhere. If it's not metal and it's wood, wherever you put it at. So it has the supposedly, uh, you know, the adhesive tape. Pop, you put it, and that's going to be the metal that it's going to latch onto. You get it? So look how strong that is. And they give you two of those. They give you two of these things. So that's the good side to that. And the everything in life has its pros and its cons. The cons to the lit rock, which is the one on my main PC, the 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 cons to it is that the LED constantly is changing in purple, blue, green, yellow. It, you can't leave it at one stack, one uh you get it? Static color. It just keeps switching on its own. This stays like a blue. But it's super light. You can't even hardly see it when connected with their thing here. Now, let me show you how I unplug it off of theirs. Pop. And plug it on its own. And I think it, it shows it's brighter. Let me make sure I, I'm putting it right. Plus on that, on the left side. Okay. Now there, it doesn't go on yet, right? The only time the light comes on is when you actually turn on the computer. That's what I've noticed. That's what I noticed before on oh, bugging. Yeah, there you go. You see? And now it kind of like lights up more to me than before. So the only difference is that with their with their with their with their splitter it's always lit as long as the back is lit I guess and you can find the button <laughs> you know there is only going to light up when it's powered on you know but if you don't want lighting and you don't care about the lighting look it's simple you unplug these two and there's no LED lighting. And these on, on the switcher, they say power LED minus and power LED plus. It's still going to power on and off. If you're, if you're not too big into the LED, then it's cool. You get it? So. So me personally, I'm just going to use it like this. I'm going to unplug. I don't know why the, the the splitter is really any use here in this situation. I guess it's for exactly what I told you. So there won't be any uh, miss uh, like the colors. So it won't be mis mix matched. And it won't look crazy, I guess. I don't know. That's the only thing I could think of, bro. Because I don't see the sense in it. I see sense in it if you want everything black. But like I said, I'll just throw some electrical tape. I need to do it anyway. And I'll just put these where they go at. If I want the LED to shine, I'll put it right here. Uh, The reset plug... It's not in here, but, like, really, my guy, I don't really need a reset plug. I re reset uh, my PC from, uh, 
at the monitor. You get it? If I'm trying to reset or whatever it may be. But the reset uh, plug is not in there. I don't know how important that may be to anybody. But this is the splitter, bro. And the splitter, we're not utilizing it right now because I noticed it gives it a weaker uh, LED color. So these are the rest of them. I don't know if it's well, probably so the panel could work, but isn't the front panel like with USB somewhere over here uh, uh, for the actual USB plugs to work? So I'm I'm dealing with the cable and putting it through here in the bottom, and this is what's going to be uh, sticking out red a little green if that but again i'll come and i'll throw electrical tape right over it so i'm pretty sure you guys get it once you connect it it's simple you can unplug the ones you plug they say power that says power led plus minus put it where it goes and i'm not using the splitter and i can't find my actual uh I can't find the electrical tape to save my life, my dude. I just had it. That has me going bananas, bro. I just finished trying to find it and look for it all over, bro. I'm going nuts. But there you have it, bro. I'm about to find somewhere to put this under a desk. I can't let you guys know where I'm going to put it. Put it somewhere. It's magnet. It sticks <laughs> to anything. Uh, and it works. If you want less LED light, this one is it. But again, you could just unplug it and not use the LED light. Like, you don't really need the LED light. But that one is cool. It's just a solid black, and I have, like, a thing for it. Like, I don't really like it too much. Like, you could tell I like the Lit Rock actually better. Way better. So, I don't know. Next, we're going to go over... A lot of other stuff that we got going on over here. So let me know if you want to see more content like this. On how to plug things up. What makes things work. What works. What doesn't work. What should you get. What shouldn't you get. Uh, yeah. And that's my streaming PC. It's pretty cool right. Let me know in the comment section. I have a graphics card for it. But I don't need to put it in. Because again. Uh. It has integrated graphics. It's running on an i7 by Intel. i7-7700. Seven, seven, k So, I'll leave the links in the description to that processor also in case you want to get it. It has integrated graphics and it's great. Uh, what else can I tell you? The fans are awesome. I had... Corsair fans in there and I switched them up for these fans because I wanted them all to be dual ring and some of them weren't So you could change them to whatever color you like there's a lot of lighting in here now, so You probably can't see the colors real good, but it's actually yellow and red uh, Yeah, and it only has a 500 power supply because it's a streaming PC. I'll probably upgrade the power supply in the future and upgrade the whole streaming PC, but it's not bad. It's doing what it needs to do, this bad boy. <laughs> so there you have it, the power button. I got to find somewhere to put it. Links in the description if you want to get any of those power buttons and you would like to hook your PC up like that. If you need help... Just DM me on Instagram, on the lockout, or my Discord, on the lockout, hashtag 2632. Just look up on the lockout anywhere, and I'm there. And let me know, and I'll help you out. So, if I was you, I'll still get this one. The Lit Rock. But, they both good. Don't get it wrong. It works. This one, the super pro about it is the magnet. That you could stick it anywhere. You get it? You can stick this bad boy anywhere, and you can't the other one. That's about it. With that being said, thank you for tuning in. Subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend so I can get motivated.
to make great content again. 